if you're going to transport it somewhere, you need to disconnect all the cables. If you try and transport it with the things connected, I think you'll run into trouble. So I'll pull all the bits and pieces off that you have, put them in the carriers. So with this one, remember, pull back on the grip to disconnect. That's the hand switch for the handpiece. This one here has to be unscrewed. Unscrewed. It has a cover here too that has to go over the end to stop any dirt and junk getting on the end of the fibre. So make sure this clip goes on and stays on. So the ends of these fibres should either be attached or covered, one or the other. There is no in between. You don't leave them lying around. You'll get junk on here and it'll end up getting reducing the output of the laser unit. This is the same for any laser unit or any optical fibre. If you get junk on it, you'll wreck it. Now, I'm going to put this away first because it's the most fragile part of the whole thing. There's the box. There's a plastic cover that you don't really need. I don't certainly haven't, don't use mine anymore. Take the cable. Remember when you're the, on the back of this, this port here needs to be covered. There's a rubber plastic, plasticky rubbery cover you can push over like that. There's also a metal thing that you can screw on. If you're going to be leaving it covered for a long time, I'll put the metal plug over the top. Otherwise, just leave it like this if it's a brief time. Remember at the back, remove the interlock. Again, pull on that and look after that. Don't lose it. If you recall, it sits back in here in there. That's a safe place and that's where it stays. So it's either in there or it's on the laser. You don't leave it around or you'll lose it and then you'll have to replace it. Pull the power plug out. And it's ready to pack. Back in the box, pretty much the same, well, the same way you removed it. If you remember that, I'll go through that again just to make it a bit 